Hello, and thank you for joining our Sonoma Partners webinar as part of our healthcare series for Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Today we're talking about how we've used Microsoft CRM to create a solution for physician relationship management. What we've done for some of our customers is to create a database that captures all of the contacts and relationships in a complex healthcare system in order to better keep track of the many related communications and services. For this segment, we're going to focus on how we can use Microsoft CRM for issue tracking and resolution. For example, maybe a doctor is using our services and let's say there's a problem. We want to record and respond to this information as quickly and efficiently as possible to make sure our customer satisfaction levels remain high and that they will continue to utilize our services. Now it's important to point out that Microsoft Dynamics CRM is essentially a web application that runs on a web server. As such, you can of course access it through a web browser, but one of the most popular and distinctive features of Microsoft CRM is its native integration with Microsoft Outlook, and that's what we're looking at here. Now this is Outlook 2007, but the CRM integration works with Outlook 2003 as well. And when you install the Outlook client, you'll notice a few things. First off, you get a new toolbar across the top that allows you to access your CRM functionality, as well as on the left-hand side, you'll notice a new folder that's added to your navigation area where you can actually drill down into your CRM data right within your Microsoft Outlook program. So for example here, I've drilled down to my locations and providers. So for people on your staff that are using Outlook already, they don't even need to log into the web client version of CRM. They can do everything right from within their email program, which they're most likely in every day anyway. Now moving back to my inbox, you can see here that I have an email related to x-ray turnaround. I'm going to go ahead and open this up, and you can see that it's a complaint from a physician related to turnaround on x-ray services at one of our facilities. Now we want to make sure that this complaint is logged and taken care of so we can go ahead and track this in our CRM system in order to create a customer service case. Now to do that, literally all you need to do is click a button. Right here you can see I have now tracked this email within CRM and because this is from an existing physician record, I can then view this within CRM and here we can see this email record and I can go ahead and create a new customer service case by converting this activity into a case and then I can go ahead and give it a subject in order to route this customer service case appropriately. And here you can see this obviously is related to physician client relations and this is definitely a complaint so I'm going to mark it as such. I can go ahead and say OK and here we've automatically opened our new customer service case and we can go ahead and populate some of this information. So for example we can set the case origin to email. We can mark the case type as a complaint but you see here we have several other options that you know maybe someone was calling in with just a simple request or maybe a question we could mark it as such and in this case the satisfaction level is also very dissatisfied this is important because we could use this to programmatically trigger dif different elevation levels and potentially go to a manager or the appropriate party based on the overall severity of the complaint finally we can elevate this to a high priority issue and then set a follow-up date. And then lastly, we can go ahead and enter in some content as far as a description goes. Now, we'll notice in the history that you can actually see the email where this case originated from. And you can also see that through the creation of the case, we actually had a workflow fire that we've created to send out an automated notification message. So based on the subject that we entered in, we could potentially route this to the appropriate group, such as the imaging department, based on the fact that it's related to an x-ray. If I go ahead and open this up, you can see that the yellow fields represent dynamically generated content coming directly from our case record, and then the rest of it is the body of our email in order to send this off appropriately. Now closing this and going back to our email, we'll want to respond to the doctor to let them know that we've received their complaint and that we've started a customer service case and we'll res be responding to them shortly. So you can see here that I've created an email thanking the doctor for bringing this to our attention and letting her know that we'll be following up with her tomorrow with an update. I can go ahead and send this off. and You'll notice that the response is automatically tracked in CRM since the message that we originated we've tracked. So now every corresponding message in this thread will automatically be tracked by the system. I can then go and view the physician record from within our CRM system in order to do some further analysis. 
Now we can take a look at the history we've had with this physician and you can see the new case that was created as well as our response to her. These are all tracked within the system. And then if we want to take a look at her case history, she previously had an issue with an account rep that's already been resolved and here's our new customer service case that we just created. Now this is all important information and we should definitely know the history related to this physician anytime we're in touch with her. So in summary, you can see how you can use Microsoft CRM as a tool to help provide the highest possible level of customer service and responsiveness to our physicians, which hopefully will help us secure long-term customers. Microsoft has a pretty comprehensive white paper called Patient Relationship Management. If you're interested in that, we can get you a copy. Also, please feel free to contact us about anything you saw here today, or if you want to talk to us about setting up a more comprehensive demo that can be tailored to fit your specific needs. Thank you.